There's rumors that Tampa Bay can be difficult to catch fish without live bait. But if you wait for the storms, they can be the perfect combination of overcast skies, glass calm water, and fish that are ready to eat. All right, we are supposed to be looking for redfish. That was the point of today. Storm rolled in, in the middle of nowhere, and it was absolutely pissing. And I mean, pissing rain this morning. So I stayed in, wasn't gonna come out, but it looks like it's cleared up for the rest of the day. It's gonna sprinkle here and there. Um, so I was like, all right, let's just go back to our plan. I'm gonna get the incoming tide instead of the outgoing now. But, there's just really good looking mangroves on the way out. I just wanted to come skip them real quick. So we're gonna hit them really fast and then we're gonna move on. Here comes the rain, darling. Here comes the rain, it's all right. We've got good rain jackets today. That's why it's all right. And it's warm, who cares? <laughs> what is that? Oh, look at that little guy. All right, well, we got a snook. Didn't even see him. What are you trying to eat this big old bait for, dude? We're looking for like your mom, grandma even. Oop. All right, he got off. Let him go. Nice and easy. Fix the bait here a bit. Make sure it goes down. Little tiny guy. Not the target size, but we're. A bite is a bite. Skunk is gone. Fix the bait. <laughs> oh, there's a nice little blow up in the far back. We can get to that. Perfect. Oh, there we go. There we go. Come on. How do we get him out of there? Up on that tree. He's out, he's out. Did I lose him? I don't think I did. Oh. Oh. Bring him out of the way. Oh. Oh. Nice fish. Barely hooked in the mouth. Decent fish. Oh, there we go. All right, guys, check it out. 25 incher. We're gonna try to get him unhooked as fast as possible. Get him out. Let's lay him down so we stop flopping a bit. All right, there we go. One last look. 25 incher. Let's get him back in the water. Get some more. All right, I know you're supposed to do the thumb, but uh, there was a big shark that was swimming around, so I would prefer to not lose my hand. So I'm gonna do him by the tail. Get some movement there, so he feels good, and I'll let him go. Check that out, beautiful line. Beautiful fish. All right, we're out in the redfish zone. There are some schools of mullet cruising around. I, uh, I'm gonna continue with the top water because it's overcast, it's slightly raining, like, I just think it might work. I don't often fish top water for redfish. Um, but I like to, whoa. That was either a massive school of mullet, or there was a dolphin up there, but I think that was a giant school of mullet. Let's make our way over there, and I think we're gonna put the rain jacket on. It's uh getting a little rainy. All right, got the rain jacket on, feeling nice and dry. I opened up those vents a little bit. And we're gonna see if we can find some fish out on these flats. We're gonna get up tight, I think. Caught some reds over this direction recently. 
and the tide isn't too bad. It looks like it's already started to come in a little bit. I think those fish could be hanging out there. We saw the big school of mullet out this way. Got one right over here, actually. You might want to tuck in on that. There you go that way, just to go chase them down a bit. Gotta get some of this gunk off my line, though. Got a mullet. mullet right up ahead of us. Or I can turn that off then. I don't want that trolling motor on if I'm gonna go. It doesn't work when the bait gets stuck, though. What happened here? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've casted this area up enough times to get bit if they were they're here. They're just not not eating, I guess. Not ready to eat. Okay. Hey guys, there we go. He's a little guy, a little squeaker. He's got his spots, he's got his colors, and he baited the bait, so we'll take that. Got a couple sharks down there pushing the bank. Still got the stingrays moving around. Uh, whatever that was, gave enough of a pause to let me do a half a hook set. Trout. No, oh, an even smaller red. Oh, look at this little guy. New micro PB. No way. I've always wanted to catch one this small. I never have. All right, I know this is weird, but I'm really excited about catching a 10 inch redfish. It's a little baby. Let's see you grow into a big old tanker. We're stopping on this flat just real quick. I don't even know if I'll put the trolling motor down. I've got a pretty decent amount of trout on this flat. Nothing huge, generally pretty small, but we're gonna see if we can hook into a trout real quick. Just to complete that slam. Oh, it's got a bit right there, actually. Uh, definitely not, the wind's a little bit stronger than I thought, but we're definitely gonna have to put the trolling motor down. Unless we catch one on like one or two casts. Let's see what happens here. Oh. I did see a ton, I say ton of like little bait up on this flat earlier this morning when I drove by it. So it should be cruising around. These trout should be here ready to munch. There we go. That's, that's one right there. Nice one too. You know, the better one. Good head shakes. Nice one. Absolutely nice one. There we go. All right, guys. Beautiful trout. Actually, a really nice one. Uh, right there on that little swim bait. I munched my tail, but that completes that slam. That was so fast. I mean, that was like, what, four casts in? This flat just, it produces trout always. 